Destructors can be kind of annoying, since oftentimes the object owns all of its memory and you just want to deallocate everything. Writing a destructor just for that takes up time. That's why Beef has the tilde. It allows you to do things in the destructor without actually having to write a destructor. And for collections you just use a delete container and items exclamation mark. But what even is that? It's called a mix-in and what they do and how you can use them is going to be explained by me after the intro. The collection and dictionary mixins are likely to be the mixins that you use most commonly. They just do what they say in a single statement. How the mixins actually are a way to mix a method into the call side. Kind of similar to what inline does. Methods are still slightly different from mixins though, since they get mixed into the call side, they also inherit the scope that they're being called in. If you scope allocate something in a mixin, the scope will be the call side. This also works for break, continue and return statements. Mixins may take in var as an argument type to allow for generic statements. Actual generics will also work as restrictions for a mixin. Another factor is that you can emulate a return type from a mixin by simply not ending the last statement with a semicolon. This allows for some fun with ternary operators. Also, you may specify a scope of inside the mixin using scope colon colon mixin. That will allow the caller to specify the scope themselves. In summary, you might only ever rarely write mixin, but it's useful to keep them in mind when writing code, since they can have very useful and powerful effects. <laughs>